door for me? Yeah. All right. Now this door, this door. Ready? Push it open. All right, head on up there. All right. You gonna show him something? All right, well you show him. You want to go show them the rainbows? The rainbows? Yeah, let's look at them. Oh, that's cool, ain't it? Daddy buy stuff. <laughs> All right. It is Friday. So Thank finally. Goodness. Finally, finally, finally Friday. Yes, finally <laughs> Friday. Oh, stuff's falling off shelves. You know our roads. <laughs> you say hi? Well, come here. I'll pick you up. He said, I don't know about all this. Yeah. Well, as you can tell, we got a helper yeah. today. So he's going to attempt to sell some stuff. There you go. Say, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to outsell you guys. Hey, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Nothing right. wrong with it. All right. Uh, Y'all got it fixed up nice and pretty in here. Well, luckily, Michael got up a little bit. <laughs> he oh. sold a box yesterday. Um, you know, we saw, had the blue one there. Yeah. Had the trade in. Well, he turned around and sold the trade in yesterday. So wow. I didn't even get a chance to try. That's good though. Yeah. Hey, I'm, there's nothing wrong with that. So y'all must have the creepers on sale. Yeah. Believe it or not, we sold out of creepers Tuesday. Yeah. We had a guy come on here and buy four of them. Wow. And uh, we had sold one Monday or two. So we're just kind of refilling the truck, you know, yeah. with what we got. That's the ones with the roller blade wheels too, ain't it? Yes. Yeah. You know, you know I bought that breast cancer one from you guys when y'all had it. And yeah. I like those a lot. Those I wish they actually had it year round, to yeah. be honest. Because, I mean, there's some women distributors out there. And there's some men that would rather have the pink one. Because they said, nobody else in the shop's going to have a pink creeper but me. So yeah. That's true. Yeah. It's the way to do it. That way you ain't got to worry about them borrowing your stuff. Exactly. And that's why the pink screwdrivers, too. We have men that get on here and buy them. Mm -hmm. So I need to kind of throw purple out there. I'm just going to. Anyways. The last time we did a color, heaven forbid, you know, <laughs> it was awful, wasn't it? And it turned out to be one of their best selling colors. Exactly. And they turned around and other companies, really good colors, too. So yep. it's all right, though. Stuff happens. That's it. You live and you learn. I see they have the, they got the cordless impacts in blue now and everything. You got the air impacts in blue. Grinders. Yeah. And All kind of stuff. that's one of our best selling colors, so. That's good. Never know. Well, what y'all got new and cool this week? Well, it's not, I don't think necessarily new, but Michael ordered them because we had a lot of people wanting like wire strippers and cutters. Mm -hmm. They're nippics. Yep. Love nippics. So we're going to try to squeeze back through here sideways. Yeah, they're good stuff. They are. So I'm going to pull up my information sheet. That's the forged ones, too. That's yes. the good ones. They got the dipped handles. Uh, they're eight inches. And they have the lock on them. Mm hmm. And then if you look, they have the actual cutter yep and then you have your pliers yes. on the other end i mean those are really nice right there they are and of course they're nipics so lifetime warranty on them so good, something happens and i don't stuff. know exactly so can't ever hard to beat them mm -hmm. well we all sold a bunch of the green ones yeah we actually sold out and had to reorder so cool i'm glad they're doing good for you guys they are, um, they're, as you know, these, their handles are like these, so yeah. they're smooth. They're not like the sets the we cobras, have down there, yeah, the that, you know, have that little bit of a grip. You would think they would have had a little bit of grip, but. I know, that was the only reason I didn't buy them that day. You pulled them out of the box, I'm like, yep, I'm going to take them with well, me today. it happens. It I does. mean, and that we don't force y'all to buy stuff that, mm -hmm. you know, you don't, you don't Did want. Did Michael show you the video where I bought the top off? 
He did not. Oh, we'll have to get on to him. Well, like, you know, I was wondering, like, I was wanting it to run those lights and stuff, and I was yeah. like, I don't know if it'll pull them or not, because it's asking a lot, right? Yeah. So I just kept trying a little more and trying a little more. It run the whole lighting studio in there. Oh, All wow. of it, background lights, everything. Now, was, what size Milwaukee battery was that that you that got? That was the five amp, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. I couldn't remember exactly which <laughs> one like, that you wow. got. wow. So that little thing was impressive, you know. It was, uh, it was a good deal. Yeah, we actually are having to get some more in because. Yeah, it worked good. And as you can tell, our Milwaukee shelf's getting thin. We yeah. have a shop on Wednesday and they're a factory style they're a sawmill uh -huh. and they'll actually get on here and be like all right whatever y'all need you just go back there and you'll get so we're like okay we're okay with that heck yeah <laughs> man i need a lot of batteries i need all i swear I bet, yeah. I bet. He, he ain't kidding man. well we had a bunch of drills and stuff like that and yeah. they got on here and bought all the ones michael had yep i told him i said i'm just going to stay off here Cause every time I get off, you go over there and they, you just sell out of everything. So <laughs> hey, it's a team effort, right? It is. You out sell him on toolboxes most of the time. And he gets one shop that just has an unlimited budget. So that's the, not really fair though. Well, so. those little just, lights that you showed last week are really uh -huh. cool. I like those. They are. And I like the color of them. Yeah. There was a lot of people talking about how well they work. So. Well, he sold a few of those. I hadn't even, like, whenever I opened it up, that's the first time I even looked at it, to be honest, because most time if I like it, I try to keep it, and that's not a good business strategy. So we attempt yeah. to. Just have to just not even open the box and let it go, huh? Yeah, and most times, I mean, it just sells itself, because, I yeah, mean, lights are, everybody good needs Good tools do that. Like, you don't have to work to sell the good ones. You know? <coughs> oh. And it uh, yeah. makes life a lot easier. Well, so so somebody that. was asking um, last week after we did the video, uh, somebody had sent me a message on Instagram and they said, hey man, my Matco dealers went out of business, you know, I don't have a dealer, blah, blah, blah. Can I get it with Michael because I got some stuff I want and I explained to him about the franchise, you know, mm -hmm. you guys can't sell off salary route and all this. He's like, what do I do about my payments? How do I do my payments and stuff? I was like, I don't know. I was like, I can ask Michael and them on video. Maybe they know what you got to do or how you can handle it. I, I have no clue how that well, works. Well, Michael is the financial part of all that, but I can tell you what I know. You know, if it's a truck account, I think you keep paying him okay. to an extent. I think he's responsible for coming to get it. Mm -hmm. If it is a PSA, which is a uh, purchase sale agreement, I believe, which is credit, I, I sure. just call it a line of credit pretty much, you need to call MACO customer service. It, it's, you can find it on their website, their number. Mm -hmm. Call in, I think it's number two financial services. I think one is general services. And then tell them, okay, this is my name. Yeah, I think they'll ask you for your social. Make sure it's the right customer right. service. Sure. And then you'll just pick up payments through them. Okay. So, I mean, if it's credit, call customer service. If it's not credit, call your yeah. old distributor. Because he was asking me, he's like, what'd you do when, when Joven left? I was like, I didn't know Joven any money. So, and yeah. I didn't know Snap on any money. So I didn't, all I lost was a dealer and my warranty, you know, so I didn't, I didn't have yeah. to worry about that. But. Now we had a distributor, not Joven, go out in one of our areas and he kind of just up and went out. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what his situation was. I don't know why. And that we had guys saying, look, I'm behind on, Snap-on's calling, they're wanting my stuff, they're wanting a repo. And I was like, I will call, or I got on the internet at the time and I looked up and I said, this is their number. I said, call them, ask for financial services and go from there. Well, the next week they called and they said, I appreciate that I had to pick up payments through them. Sure. Because, yeah. you know, as a distributor, we take, let's say you have a credit account, right? I take your payment and then it submits once a week. So mm -hmm. we had people getting letters saying that they were behind, but they're not because our systems are not straight line. So we submit once a week your payments. So don't ever think, you know, if you 
think you're behind or you're getting a letter, call us and we'll say, we'll call in for you and we'll say, how much are they behind? How much are they ahead? We had a guy that they said was behind, which he pays about $150 over his normal payment because he wants to pay off his credit. He's like, they told me I'm about $200 behind. Well, I call in and he's not. He's like $200 ahead. <laughs> so it's just, it's credit. I That's kind of bad because it can mess your credit up, you know, the way yeah. that stuff works. But um, now we haven't ever had anybody's credit get hit because of the letter. Yeah. Or nothing you like that. You would think that dealer would tell the people like, hey guys, look, you know, this is my last week running. This is what you need to do. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Because well, that mean, would suck to get repoed and I don't know. But now I'll tell you this, it's up to the dist uh, distributor's discretion. So if you hadn't paid Maco in two years and we pull up, now if you wanted to sell us your box, we'd have to say, okay, look, you know, it's, it's up for repo, you know, we'll call in for you, but sure. I'm not, if they tell me I have to repo, you know, that's all I can do, you know, at that point, but I'm not going to, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting on a slippery slope, but yeah, I just, yeah. you know. I mean, I know it's kind of tricky, but. It is. It looks like just, the dealer would tell them what to do so they wouldn't yeah. be in but a I bind, mean, you know. Have any questions, I mean, you can message me or Michael and we'll figure it out. Or you can just call in a customer service. There you go. That would probably be the easiest and that way they can just fix it right exactly. there and be done with it. And like I said, you can get on the Maco website and it's right down there at the bottom, contact us. Click it. I mean, it's a one eight six six or one eight eight number or something like that, and then just click which one you need. There you go. All right. Well, hopefully that answers your question, and maybe you can get everything squared away and not get your credit hit and not lose any tools. That's, that's the, the two that's most the important things. So. Exactly. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Just press it. You guys have a great weekend because it's Friday. Mm -hmm. See ya.